Aloha, my name is Orville Baldos and I'm an assistant researcher at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Today I'm going to share with you how to build a portable after ripening bucket for relieving dormancy of small seed batches. One of the reasons why we built this after ripening system is that in particular species that require dry after ripening, control of storage temperature and humidity is very important. Manipulating these factors often require expensive equipment such as desiccators and incubators. So in order to reduce cost, we devised a portable dry after ripening system made from easily sourced materials, which you can buy either at the hardware store or online. The total cost to build this system is about $100. So the objective of this study was to develop an inexpensive after ripening bucket and our second objective was to see if the storage temperature and humidity inside the bucket for one year would be suitable for after ripening. So the materials that you'll need for this after ripening bucket is a plastic bucket uh, which you can buy from a hardware store or online. Preferably use a five gallon bucket and then you'll also need an airtight screw top lid which can be bought in specialty stores or online. Next you'll have the heating element which consists of the seedling heat mat and the thermostat that will control the temperature of the heat mat. These two can be bought in garden centers or you can also buy it online. Next would be uh, electrical plug You'll also need a silica gel dehumidifier and also uh, to monitor humidity or temperature you'll need humidity indicator cards or if you want a more precise monitoring of temperature and humidity you may want to invest in a temperature and humidity data logger. Next would be bubble wrap for insulating around the inside of the bucket and for putting in the wires um, you'll need a PVC liquid tight electrical connector. Tools, equipment and other supplies used for building this bucket you'll require a drill with a hole saw attachment, a screwdriver, a wrench, scissors or electrician scissors, silicone sealant and tape. So the first thing that you'll do building the system is to drill a hole in the plastic bucket. Make sure that when you drill the hole, it is enough or just right to fit the electrical connector or the plug. If you are comfortable with cutting the plug of the seedling heat mat, uh, cut it and expose the wire and then place the heat mat inside the bucket. Put the wire into the hole and into the electrical connector and also wire the thermostat sensor and USB cable into the bucket. So here we used a USB cable because we're using a USB based data logger. So the USB cable is an optional thing. So before tightening or sealing anything, make sure that you have enough length of wire inside of the bucket so you have play with the sensor or the, the heat mat or the USB cable. So once you have the desired length, tighten the electrical connector and seal both sides including around the electrical connector with silicone sealant. So once that seal is dry, line the inside of the bucket with bubble wrap and secure it using tape. So by lining the bubble wrap inside the bucket, you insulate the, the, the seedling mat. So once that's in, install the plug into the cut heat mat wire and then plug this into the thermostat. Secure the thermostat um, on the handle of the bucket with a zip tie and then put the screw top lid on top of the bucket. So once you've done this, uh, the bucket is now ready for use. So this is just a breakdown of the cost of materials as of 2017 for this bucket. 
So you'll need a 5 gallon plastic bucket which cost around $4, uh, 5 gallon screw top lid about $7, the heat mat thermostat about $28, the heat mat about $20, the 750 gram silica gel canister dehumidifier which is about $17.50, uh, bubble wrap which is about $7.88, the humidity indicator card which is about $7.99 for about a pack of I think this is a hundred or five hundred a non-metallic plastic PVC electrical connector which is about two dollars and fifty one cents and then finally the silicone sealant which is about four dollars and thirty eight cents totaling to about a hundred dollars if you're planning on using data loggers that would be a little bit more expensive so you add about $150 to the base price of $100 so if you have a data logger the whole system will cost around $250 which is cheaper than the more precise desiccators or incubators so how to use the after ripening bucket so before you place your seeds inside the after ripening bucket I would suggest to dry your processed or unprocessed seed to the desired moisture content. Now, the desired moisture content is the moisture content that's optimum for dry after ripening. Then once it's dried, place this in a container, preferably a paper bag or maybe a plastic bag, and then put this inside the plastic bucket. Once you have your seeds in, place your silica gel based dehumidifier inside and place your temperature or humidity monitoring system which can be either a USB based data logger or a Bluetooth based data logger or for the most basic monitoring system you can use the humidity card. The only downside with the humidity card is that when you want to see what the moisture content is inside of the bucket you'll have to open the bucket every now and then. One workaround that I would suggest would be to make a window on the side of the bucket, a transparent window, but make sure that this window is airtight and this window serves as uh, an area that you can look at your humidity indicator and see uh, the humidity inside without opening the bucket. So once your desiccant and seeds are inside, uh, seal the bucket with a screw top lid, plug the thermostat and set the temperature to your desired after ripening temperature and then place the bucket in a dry place and incubate to the desired length of after ripening. We did some tests uh, with this after ripening bucket to see if the conditions inside are suitable for dry after ripening. So for testing we use dried seeds and ons of Heteropogon contortus and we incubated these at the 30 degrees Celsius setting of the thermostat. Temperature and humidity inside the bucket was monitored for about 441 days and we got the average temperature at 30.92 degrees Celsius plus or minus a degree with the temperature range from 27.86 degrees Celsius to 33.4 degrees Celsius. Average humidity was measured around 30.82 percent a plus or minus two percent and the humidity ranged from 17.8 percent 0.08 percent to 35.09 percent so the temperature and humidity data that we collected from this bucket suggests that the conditions inside the bucket can be used or are amenable for small scale after ripening future research for Refining this system would be to look at the capacity of the bucket, like how much seeds can be placed inside for optimum after ripening, and also looking at different desiccant types, maybe something like a saturated salt so that the humidity uh, would be maintained over time, and also looking at different temperature settings for different species. So we would like to thank the Hawaii Department of Transportation for providing funding for this research, the USDA NRCS Ho'olehua Plant Materials Center for providing the plant materials for this study. 
Uh, this work was also supported by the USDA National Institute of Food and Agriculture Hatch Projects, HAW00822 H, and HAW08040 H, managed by the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, University of Hawaii at Manoa. So that's it for building the after ripening bucket. So if you have further questions, you can email me at obaldos at hawaii.edu.